Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am bringing you the reverse applique video that I promised in my last upload um, where I cut out the moon phases on my scan and cut and I showed you how I did that. And yeah, so I don't apologize about my appearance. This is what I look like without makeup, but the reason I look like this and honestly that I I'm at a loss for words. I don't really feel like this is an appropriate time to upload a video. Um, but I know that the world does not stop moving when there's a tragedy. And I know that some of us could really use a good distraction right now. So I hope that this video can bring you a little bit of a reprieve. Um, that being said, I'm absolutely beside myself about the shooting yesterday and just all of the shootings that happened in Buffalo and just South Carolina. There is, there's too many to name. Um, I have big feelings about all of this, which I'm sure many of you do too. Um, but yeah, so that's why I look the way that I do today, but I'm just trying to offer up maybe, you know, 30 minutes of, or 15 minutes of, uh, something other than terrible news. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Can't forget about capitalism, right? So give me a thumbs up, share, post, um, leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions and I will do my best to get back to you. Enjoy the video. All right, so just to kind of give a quick overview of how I do reverse applique, I wanted to do this video. <clears throat> Basically to get started, or what reverse applique is, is you have an image or images cut out of your piece of cork or vinyl or leather, and then you're gonna inlay another piece behind it, and then you're just gonna quilt on top of it. And so a quick example of that, a completed piece is this bag here. So you can see where I've quilted all around and quilted this natural cork into the aqua cork. Now the inverse of this would be regular applique. So that would be where the moons are on top and then you would just quilt the moons themselves and none of this out here. So it's pretty basic, but again, I've been having people ask me about it, so I just thought that I would show you how I personally do it. Um, again, I'm gonna preface this with saying I'm not a pro, this is just how I do it, and this is what works for me. So the first thing that I do after I cut out, which the previous video that I posted has how to cut this out on a scan and cut, you can also cut out an image using an X-Acto knife, you can draw it on the back and then cut it out. That's um, pretty simple. I used to do that quite a bit with um, with my cork prior to getting a cutting machine. So it's tedious, but it can be done. So anyways, the way that I do the reverse applique and the most important part is you need to ensure that the piece that goes on the back that you are creating the color with is wide enough to fit your image but you don't, or what I like to avoid is getting it into the seam allowance. So these moons specifically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure them and I'm gonna have a quarter inch around the entire image. And so I'm just gonna start by lining up my top here at the top of the moons at a quarter inch overlap. And then I'll go over here, quarter inch on that side and then a quarter inch over here, and then a quarter inch over here. So I'm at 8.75 wide by three and a half tall. So that's what I need to cut out of my accent cord. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. What did I say? Eight and a half by three and a half tall, or 8.75. So because my image, my moon image angles up, here, I think I can get away with this having a cutout. So I'm just gonna lay it and test it out. And then you can see it's gonna take up all the moons perfectly fine. So the way that I like to adhere the black to the sea foam, you could do a couple different things. You could do double stick tape, you could do glue. Um, what I have found that works really great and provides really seamless coverage is I spray the back of my piece with basting spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And for that, I just lay the piece in my trash can and then spray the basting spray. And I'm not spraying it crazy. I'm trying to keep it pretty controlled, spraying it just in this area that I need it. And now 
I'm going to carefully lay this on top. And now you should be able to feel that there's at least about a quarter inch to a half inch over on the sides here. And then same at the bottom and at the top. Mine is a little high. I could have come down just a touch, but I have a quarter inch at least below this moon. So I'm not concerned about it. And so what I like to do is I do crazy wild stitching and I do that because just sewing around these curves is really challenging. And if I add all this crazy stitching, it kind of takes the eye away from those really detailed places. And I think it looks cool. And it, then what it does is it also stitches down the rest of the cork all around. So then when you flip it and all of that jazz, it's not uh, flipping or pulling anywhere. So now I'll just go to the machine and I'm just gonna stitch all around this and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So for purposes of this demonstration, I am using black thread to match the black cork. But if you wanted it to be super vibrant and different, you could do contrasting color and that looks really good too. But so I'm just gonna start at a random point and then you're just gonna see me bounce all over and I'm going to be sure to get down in between these areas here because when the bag is being used, if it's being flexed, I don't want this cork to come undone. But I'm going to aim to be about one eighth of an inch around all of my cutouts, but it can get a little wonky sometimes. Okay, here we go. So I just completed the stitching and if you look you can see all of my lines here and so on areas like this I didn't worry about going all the way around the circle but you can see that I crisscrossed back and forth a lot of times just to ensure that this piece wouldn't come undone when the bag is being used. And you can see my stitching is not perfect. I am not super phenomenal at following these curves. And so that's why I just do it all kind of crazy. I call this like wild style stitching where I just stitch all over crazy and just don't really pay attention and make it fun and funky. And then what I try to do too is I try to make sure that I have lines going all over the place and not just in one direction, unless I'm being very intentional about the direction of my stitches. I have done a moon phase where I did like big sunbursts around the whole thing, which that was kind of cool, but took a lot longer because I had to really pay attention to what I was doing. But yeah, so this bag is now going to be made into a Paradigm crossbody. And so the front of it will be quilted like that and then the back will just have the um the zipper back here and it'll be plain so yeah that's how I do my reverse applique stitching and then if I was going to do just regular applique with just the moons the only difference in that the reason I prefer reverse applique is it's I mean, you saw when I cut it on the machine, it just is nice and uniform. I know that everything is going to be placed correctly. And when you do just the moons, you have to be really cognizant of where you're gluing them, make sure that they don't shift. Um, but doing regular applique does look really cool as well. And the best part is when you do reverse applique and you cut these moons out, then you have those moons ready to go and you can put them on the next piece of cork so you can have a reverse and then a regular of alternating colors all right everybody i hope that you found that short video informational if you have any other questions about reverse applique be sure to drop them in the comments and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up definitely helps with the algorithms um, feel free to share comment like blah 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 pin you know the drill and uh, until next time i hope that you guys are staying healthy and happy and safe out there be kind